Hi, my name is Mario Gonzalez. I'm a loan originator with US Bank. My job is to help people get the right loan to buy their dream home. I've been doing this since 1997, way before many of you were born. I'm very passionate about what I do. I think that 23 years in this profession are a testament to that. I enjoy being the one person that can help my customers get a loan they can afford and be happy with. After all, it's a 30 year commitment in most cases to buy a home. Buying a home is a very important goal to most people. But there are other financial goals people may set for themselves. Your parents may have set as a goal to have enough money to pay for your college tuition in case that basketball scholarship dream to USC doesn't come true. They may also have financial goals to live comfortably when they retire. But to reach goals, there's discipline, time, and effort to attain them. My presentation will center around financial goals. As I discussed before, buying a home is a big goal for most people. But along the way, there's going to be smaller goals you'll need to reach. Goals such as having enough money to buy that new video game system, that new bike, or that new outfit you saw someone famous wearing on TV. Goals are important because they give you a destination. It is up to you to decide what your personal financial goals are. When I was in high school, my goal was to have enough money saved to buy my first car before graduation. As a high school student, it was very difficult. There are so many things to spend money on and deplete whatever allowance or birthday money I had saved. With video games, trips to the mall, CDs, yes, before streaming, iTunes or Spotify, we had to buy CDs to listen to music. It was very hard to hold on to my money. I figured that getting a job would help. Somehow, despite having more money filling my pockets, I could barely show any increase in my savings. How could this be? What was I doing wrong? The problem wasn't the money coming in, it was the money going out. If I was at work, I had to eat out. Working at the mall didn't make it any easier either. Every storefront along the way had something I wanted. It was really hard. This is where I got really confused. I asked my mom for help. She was my only parent and didn't have a glamorous job. Yet, what she made kept us afloat, put food on the table and kept a roof over our head. On a side note, never be embarrassed to ask for help on a topic like this. You'd be surprised how much easier things are when you have guidance. Anyhow, she made me draw two columns on a piece of paper. One heading red, needs, and the other red, wants. Under needs, she wrote utilities, water, food, rent, and clothing. Under wants, she wrote expensive shoes, jewelry, big screen TV, and bottled water. Basically, things meant to make me comfortable or content, but not necessary for survival. Her logic made sense to me. You need water, right? But is expensive bottled water a need? No. You need clothing? But it didn't make sense to spend all that money on, on an Adidas tracksuit that I was probably just going to wear once. But anyway, after all, I saw how I was hemorrhaging money and how easy it would disappear. I began changing how I viewed money and how I spent it. I knew that a car was my long-term goal. But along the way, I needed to have money to, for bus fare, some groceries, and stationery I need for school. These were very short-term financial goals. I learned the value of setting financial goals because I knew what was important to me, and more importantly, why it was important. If you find yourself in a similar situation as 11th grade Mario at Dorsey High School did, ask yourself, what is your goal? What is important to you? Does it involve money? Do you have a system in place to save to reach that magic moment where you can pull that money out of your pocket and pay for it? Learning how to do this now will help you when you're older and set your sights on savings for home, car or retirement, or provide for your family. Setting goals will give you a clean vision of what your future will look like. And I know money is not everything, but it helps to know how to use it to live a fruitful and fulfilling life. I hope you've enjoyed listening to my presentation as much as I enjoy presenting it to you. I wish you the best in reaching that one goal that you just, just had pop into your head.